In life, if you don't plan, then you are planning to fail. When you develop a proper business plan, you are more likely to foresee and overcome any challenges in the future. That is why most folks with a business plan are more likely to stay in business in the long run. I'm not talking about writing a 10, 20, 30, or even a 100-page business plan. I'm talking about a one-page business plan. Keep it simple. In this video, I will show you how to create your own business plan for your poultry farm. I will also show you our own very own poultry farming plan. If you are starting small and do not have enough capital saved up, I will recommend you reduce the numbers in our own plan to fit your budget. Dream big. The goal of this video is for you to dream big but think realistically. Hang in there. I will be right back. Welcome back to Ota Farms. My name is Kelvin. I'm a software engineer who is extremely passionate about poultry farming. This is the channel where you will find resources to succeed in your poultry farming venture. Here, I'll share all the knowledge based on our experience running our own poultry farm in the southwest region of Cameroon called Boya. If you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, please, this is the time for you to do just that. Please support our channel by hitting that subscribe button. Also, while you are it, consider smashing the notification bell so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. What is a business plan and why should you even consider making one in the first place? Well, let's break that. A business plan will guide you through every phase of starting and managing your poultry farm business. It's a way to think through and detail every key element on how your business is going to operate. I'm going to give you five quick reasons why you should create a business plan before you start or if you've already started, why you should create one right now to be able to plan well for the future. One, it will help guide you as you start and grow your business. Think of a business plan like a GPS, right? That takes you from one position to another. If you don't know the directions, the, 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 your business plan will actually guide you through the process, through the process of actually starting and growing your business. Without a business plan, you have no vision, you have no mission, then you will not actually know where you are getting, where you're going. With a business plan will help you give you a vision of where you're going, you're going to be in the next six months, in the next two years, or in the next one year, in the next two years, in the next five or, or even 10 years. All of that will be defined in your business plan. And this is actually a living document. The second reason why you should consider actually creating your own business plan is because it's not as hard as you think. My recommendation, consider breaking it into multiple different plans, right? You have one particular one page. Again, my goal, one page business plan for sales and, sales and marketing, another one for pricing, another one for operations, and so on. Break it down. It's, once you break it down into different sectors, it will be easy for you to actually accomplish. It will be easy for you to write and implement in your business. The third reason is that it will help reach your business milestone. It will actually help shape your business decisions. It will tell you whether at what particular point in time you should secure a loan or if you should even secure a loan or not. If you do not have enough money and you want to expand, the business plan will be able to tell you if you are supposed to get to a particular milestone at a particular point in time and you haven't reached it, this particular business plan will actually tell you and give you different options. The fourth and very important reason, especially for folks that are seeking to get investors or partners, is that a business plan will actually help you through this particular process. It will help you get funding. A business plan will actually tell investors and partners that investing in you is a very good idea. It will also show them that investing in your business is a smart decision and that they are actually going to see the, a return on their investment. The fifth and very important reason is that there is absolutely no wrong way in writing a business plan. You can pick either a traditional business plan that goes several pages or you can pick a lean plan like what we did that goes just a single page, which is what we call a lean business plan. Pick a plan that fits your needs. We decided to go with a lean plan and that's what we're going to show you in this particular video. Before we dig dive into our own business plan, our lean one-page business plan, 
I want us to look at some key features that are supposed to be in any particular business plan that you are trying to develop. The first one is your, your vision and your mission. What is a vision or what is the difference even between a vision and a mission? That's something that a lot of people tend to confuse. A mission statement defines the organizational business plan, its objective, and how it will reach those objectives. Why, on the other hand, a vision statement details where the organization aspires to go. Next, in your business plan, you want to define the goals and the objective. You want to detail inside your business plan your three to six months goal, your one year goal, and your three to five year goals. Especially if you're starting, you want to have these first three. And then, as time goes on, again, as we said, a business plan is a living document. It's not just a particular paper that you just go ahead, design, and then just go stock, um, store it somewhere. No, it's actually a living document for your business. Also, your business plan should also include the revenue, okay? You want to define your pricing and the method in which you're going to be able to generate revenue. How are you going to be able to generate revenue? Also, state the income streams. We recommend about five different income streams. So, I'm going to show you that. I'm going to show you our five different income streams that we are able to generate revenue in our own poultry farm from our own business plan. The next is marketing. You want to define your customer's outreach strategy. How are you going to be able to reach your customer? How are you able to get to your customers? You want to define your target market. You want to define your target customers. Who are your target customers? You are not going for every single person. In our own case, we make sure that we sell only pure, healthy, organic chicken from our own farm. And we make sure that we differentiate ourselves from the other customers. Like you have other big cold stores in Cameroon. We differentiate ourselves from them by telling our customers when they come to buy our packaged chicken, it's not some imported chicken from uh, somewhere in China that these people, they, they don't even know the condition under which those chicken were processed. All our own is actually processed from our farm. And our customers have the opportunity to visit our farm and see the process, how we are able to process the chicken, the environment, how clean our environment is. Also, in your marketing strategy, inside your business plan, you want to talk about the eventualities and possibilities. What do I mean by that? Please, let me break that down. Eventualities and possibilities is talking about what will happen if your customers do not actually buy at a particular point in time. Because again, if you want to have 1,000 birds, once they are ready for the market, you want to sell them as fast as possible. Now, what will happen if those customers do not actually buy them at a, at a particular point in time? You want to define that. In our own case, we actually freeze most of them. We package them and put because once they, uh, our birds reach six weeks, what happens is that we package the rest, put them in deep freezer, and then sell them as frozen chicken. That is what we actually take into consideration. So you want to be able to define that in your business plan. Next, in your business plan, you want to talk about sales. How are you going to sell your chicken? And most importantly, how are you going to get the chicken to the customers? Are they supposed to come to your store? Are you supposed to have a store outlet? Or are you supposed to do delivery? How are the delivery supposed to happen? You want to define all of that in your business plan. You see how everything is actually being broken down? When you break down everything from the start, it's easy to actually manage and run your business when you have everything defined. Your employees will actually have, they will know where you, the vision of the company, they will know the plan of the company, they will know where you want to take the company to because once they are able to buy in, you will have employees that will stay with you and they will be able to put in all the effort to make sure that that business goes to the next level. If an employee comes and they don't even see the business plan or does not even see any particular vision in that particular business, guess what? The next opportunity that hits them, they want to run away. But if they know this is a company that can actually get to a level that will make them a lot more money, they will hang around. Next, you want to go ahead and identify your competitors. Identify about five different competitors and now figure out what is your competitive advantage. Think about what you would do different to be able to gain the market share. It's a massive market. You have to figure out a way that you would do what you're going to do from your own end to be able to gain that particular market share. You want to go ahead and define your competitors. Select, go around town, figure out 
five top competitors. If you are selling all over the country, make some research. Go around and figure out your top five competitors. How are they reaching out? And then differentiate yourself and then figure out a way to reach out your specific target market. The final piece that you should include in your business plan, and this is extremely important, especially if you are starting, is you want to go ahead and define the initial requirements, the items that you're going to need to start your business. The, uh, not only the items, as well as the items as well as the price, the price for each particular item. You want to define that in your business plan from the beginning. Also, in the initial requirements section in your business plan, you want to also define the team. How many team members are you going to need? Their roles in the particular um, in in your organization, in your in your business. You want to define every team members and their role. Even if uh, there's a particular team member that uh, has not been hired yet define the role in the business plan and then start the hiring process well that's an, a lot of talking enough talking it's time for us to look at the business plan let's look at our life business plan what we created what we designed before we actually started our own farm let's look at it this is Otter farms one page poetry business plan as you can see from the beginning we start by defi defining our vision and mission our vision is to become the leading provider of high quality eggs and chicken for meat in Cameroon. Again, you want to go ahead and define a one to two sentence maximum. Again, in a one page business plan, maximum one to two sentences. Now, the next part is our goals, the, our goals and objectives. What is our short term goals, which is three to six months. You can change it. Your short term goal could be, um, the next one month it could be the next 10 months but our own short-term goals were between three to six months generally rule of thumb three short-term goals three to six months long-term goal one year uh, uh sorry mid-term goals one year long-term goals three to five years again our own short-term goal was to produce two thousand broilers every two weeks and a hundred and fifty trays of eggs every day that means in six months time we should be producing 2000 broilers every two weeks and we were able to meet this particular goal however there had been some hiccups the hiccups has been partnering with the wrong businesses to be able to get their old chicks they will they will always fail and that is why sometimes we are able to meet this particular requirement and sometimes we are not able to meet it we were able to overcome that particular challenge by actually producing our own day old chicks. So at this particular juncture, we are able to have 2,000 broilers every two weeks in the market. Again, our three to six months goal was to, for us to produce 2,000 broilers every two weeks and 150 trays of eggs every day. The next were our mid-term goals. The mid-term goal was to produce 5,000 broilers every two weeks and 350 trays of eggs every day. Why the long-term goal, which is three to five years, it was to produce or is to produce 10,000 broilers every two weeks and 500 trays of eggs every single day. Now, the next part in our particular in our one page business plan is the revenue this is where we define the pricing the budget the, the billing strategy as well as the income stream so what is the pricing each chicken will go for 3500 francs cfa that is approximately seven dollars that is the starting price once they hit six weeks we sell one chicken for 3500 francs cfa uh, approximately seven dollars but as time goes on of course the price will change and also once we package that the price also changes but three thousand five hundred dollars is the cheapest we will actually sell at six weeks the price that we're going to sell uh at three weeks is different from the price that we're going to sell at six weeks so the price at maturity is three thousand five hundred dollars why we will sell a tray of egg for one thousand eight hundred francs cfa that's approximately, not up to $4, but approximately $4 for one tray of egg. 
customers will pay using cash in our stores we're going to have multiple stores and also they will be able to pay using the mtn the mobile finance in cameroon the mobile finance comprise of mtn momo and orange money they will be able to pay with mobile finance using mtn momo and orange money the next was the income streams again as i said earlier you need to be able to have at least five different income stream the first was the sale of chicken for meat and the sale of eggs from layers in addition we want to make sales from manure so the all the droppings from the chicken we want to sell that as manure and make some more money from that we want to also make, generate money from um, public transportation the customer call us that they need chicken delivered they're going to pay a delivery fee and we will make money from that as well the sales of the day old chicks will make money as well from the sales of day old chick and finally we'll actually charge a fee for farm consultation so just for our poultry farm and again this does not include the feed section of our company but this is just for the poultry section as you can see we have five different stream of revenue where how we're going to be able to make money the next i want us to talk about is the marketing marketing you want to define the customer reach strategy you want to define your target customers you want to define eventualities or possibilities let's look at all of those the customer reach uh, we're going to reach our customer through word of mouth through local radios through flyers community meetings some of our employees who, who will be in charge of marketing will actually uh, go to some of these community meetings we're also going to use social media like facebook and instagram to market our product we want to also partner with local vendors attend local events and festivals so they these are all the the customer rich strategy that we plan on implementing um, and, and again in our own particular case we are implementing those as we speak right now and that is why we are profitable in the marketing strategy you want to also define your target customers which uh, in our own um, uh, in our own business plan we shall sell the boilers for meat to street vendors who roast chicken local stores restaurants and hotels we plan on also selling healthy organic frozen chicken to our customers so our target market is pretty much what they call in cameroon functionaries those people that actually work and get a salary they get out of work before they go to their house they pass in our stores and they pick one package of our of our chicken get home everything is already uh, been packaged they just get home clean it and 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 start cooking they don't have to worry about eviscerating the chicken and cleaning the intestine and all of that we get all that ready for them they get home they already they they are already busy with their day they don't have time to be able to do all of those other things they get home and just start cooking right away the next part is eventualities or possibilities if customers don't buy we plan on stocking the chicken in freezers and selling them as frozen chicken after 7 weeks we recommend you to actually package your chicken and sell them as frozen chicken the reason is because if you do not increase the price and you keep selling at the same price when you've been feeding them for a whole week especially when you're running a commercial poultry farm the cost of feed might be so steep that you after seven weeks you'll be running a loss so what happened if you're not able to sell after seven weeks package all of it and put them in refrigerators that is our plan for x we plan on selling them in the open market to both wholesalers and retailers we want to make sure that we get rid of them as fast as possible the advantage is that we can keep x for up to 30 days without actually incur any particular extra cost but with broilers or chicken for meat you don't you don't want to keep them in the farm you don't want to keep feeding them you want to plan for the eventualities and possible or possibilities what will happen if customers are not able to take everything up at once now let's talk about our sales strategy all sales will be made from our stores others will be made over the phone and payments via mobile fi finance which is either momo or orange money mtn momo or orange money delivery will be done only after full payment have been received that is our st sales strategy how are we going to deliver to our customers 
So the chickens will be sold live or processed depending on the customer's need. For customers willing to pay a delivery fee, we will actually go ahead and rent a pickup truck to deliver wholesale. Door-to-door -door delivery is available. Now, this is our short-term goal, but in the long run, we're going to have multiple delivery trucks, right? Multiple delivery trucks that will be able to deliver in different cities. The next thing you want to talk about, you want to define in your Put one page business plan is the competition. You want to identify your top five uh, competitors. Our own local producers around Boya imported chickens from neighboring regions and abroad. So we went ahead and defined those top five competitors. Our competitive advantage all our boilers are antibiotic. I'm not going to mention again. Going back to the competitors, I'm not going to mention their their businesses because that's going to be free marketing. I'm not trying to market someone's. I'm not trying to market my competitor. I'm trying to market my own business. So I'm not going to mention their name in this particular video. But our competitive advantage is that all our boilers are antibiotic free. Also, our boilers are cage free. We plan to create a logistic system where we will deliver our uh, our products directly to the customers now the final part of your business plan is the requirements so you want to define the items in your requirements what are the starting what how many broilers are you going to start in our own case we started with the broilers we didn't start with layers we started with broilers and we started with 500 broilers one broiler cost us 500 francs cfa that is about one dollar so the total for uh, 550 was uh, approximately a thousand dollars to start the drinkers, um, we had to purchase drinkers for the boilers. It cost us 125000 That is about $250. The feed cost us about $1 million. Again, the budgeting, we had to budget $1 million and 50,000 francs CFA. That's approximately $2,000 for the feed for to be able to feed all of these birds. The vaccines cost us about... Uh, Everything will cost us about thirty thousand. That is approximately sixty dollars. The sawdust, which is pretty much the, what you get from all the sawmill, it will cost us about ten thousand. The feeders will cost us about a hundred and twenty-five thousand, which is approximately uh, two hundred and fifty dollars. The firewood or charcoal will actually cost us uh, fifty thousand, approximately a hundred dollars. The heating pot will cost us thirty thousand. That's approximately sixty dollars. Why others, other which is like transportation cost, transportation of the feed from the mill to our farm will cost us thirty thousand because at the at the point where we were starting, we didn't have a feed mill. So the goal long long term is for us to actually have our own feed mill directly in our farm. So everything to, for us to start in the beginning will cost us two million to start. And that two million is approximately four thousand dollars for us to actually start. Again, in your requirement section in the one page business plan, you want to define the, the team members and the role. Even if you haven't actually hired the, that particular team member yet, you want to define their role. Again, in our own case, we have at the top, the very top, we have the managing director. Under the managing director, you have the operations and marketing manager. As the company grow, we're going to actually separate this into two different roles. Right now, we have one particular person. It's a lady that handles the operations and marketing. Next is the poultry farm manager. We have a poultry farm manager, a layer farm manager, a hatchery manager, a farm coordinator. Actually, we have two farm coordinators. We have two farm coordinators. Presently, we have an, an administrative as, um, assistant as well as a sales rep at our store and finally a security officer what we call in Cameroon night watchman well that was our business plan as you can see for yourself one page nothing more we believe in the principle of kiss the kiss principle keep it simple stupid which means you don't want to complicate everything and again as i said before a business plan is a living document 
it's not a particular document that you take you spend a lot of time creating and then carry it and shove it in a particular drawer somewhere in your office no it's a living document that you constantly update it as time goes on things are going to change you're going to be learning the market the market is going to change and once the market change you want to update your business plan that that is it for this particular video if you've learned anything so far please consider hitting that subscribe button and smashing that notification bell hitting the subscribe button will actually help motivate us to create more videos like this again what did we say if you do not plan then you are planning to fail so please if you want to be able to succeed in poultry farming create that one particular page i'm going to leave a link to our business plan template and it's i'm not even it's not just going to be the template it's also going to show you our own very first business plan i'm just going to take off the name of our employees from it and then just leave it in there you have the opportunity to download go ahead and click on the link in the description to download our one page business plan start from there to actually design your own business plan it's pretty much a simple word document that will actually help you design your own if you do not have enough budget set aside to be able to start at the particular scale that we started go ahead and and modify that dream big but be realistic again don't forget hit that subscribe button see you in the next video Bye-bye.